welcome to the final video of uh, google adsense training so in this video we'll be talking about uh, analytics uh, and also the proof uh, that i'll be showing you and uh, how this model is really working uh, so in terms of analytics we'll be looking into three different analytics so one is google analytics uh, the first thing so how to figure out what content what is bounce rates uh, what is the total number of page views you are uh, getting and a few other things that uh, ideally we should look into google analytics and then uh, we'll be talking about the tabula analytics in terms of if let's say you become a tabula publisher how you will figure out your uh, revenue model uh, or the revenue numbers and few other things uh, and also i mean in terms of spend as an advertiser in tabula so you'll be looking also into uh, tabula analytics uh, and then the final thing is in terms of google uh, adsense analytics so that's where your uh, ma major chunk of uh, revenue comes in so uh, we'll be figuring out uh, in terms of what to look for and how to uh, create different ad slots and things like that right so uh, talking about google analytics uh, so so obviously i mean if you are using an wordpress right so uh, in terms of linking your analytics uh, google analytics is much uh, easier all you need to do is uh, look for uh, uh, wordpress google analytics plugin right so uh, there are uh, different plugins available which is more uh, uh, easier for uh, non techies to kind of link your sites and how to look uh, look at um, uh, 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 ga code or analytics code so we actually prefer uh, this google analytics dashboard plugin for uh, wordpress uh, yeah and then there are also multiple plugins which we ideally uh, thing that also uh, uh, works exactly the model how we want so all you need to do is i mean uh, go go into this wordpress uh, uh, plugin that is available uh, all you need to do is just download it uh, and then uh, like so that gives an options in terms of how to link your uh, uh, google analytics and uh, uh, take the access so post which i mean once you are linked and once you are able to track the users now this is my google analytics uh, uh, one of the dashboard in terms of uh, like what kind of users i'm receiving and what is in this is a dashboard where you can see your uh, real time users and few other things so uh, let me show you so first thing i monitor is uh, the real time right so let's say now even if i run a tabula campaign or a, uh, any other content discovery uh, networks uh, ads i'm running right so uh, obviously i will try to understand in terms of uh, uh which are the top active pages and uh, if there is any referral sources and uh, the second thing i will also look at is locations uh, so my blog i mean i've been uh, focusing little bit on seo so i i drive a lot of traffic organically from seo uh, so this these are all the different countries that uh, getting the traffic from and i also look at uh, traffic sources so uh like for example this one is google organic i mean i'm receiving about 33 visitors uh direct none i mean uh, sometimes there is an attribution issue but that's perfectly fine because our model is not ready to understand where to attribute it and uh, uh like ideally i mean we will be driving one source of traffic and then we are trying to monetize it uh so the next thing i'll be really looking at is acquisition and where i will go to all traffic and then i will look at uh, channel wise uh so roughly if you uh, if you kind of uh, had your adsense codes uh, code integrated so this is my last one week performance so i have been able to drive about 58000 uh, users and uh, i also look at uh, like bounce rates and i also look at average page uh, uh, sessions i mean duration and how much time they spend and which of the source of traffic uh, is actually giving me more uh, uh, like in terms of uh, session duration so i see here paid search so though i have drove uh, 1500 clicks i mean but the the spent on uh, average session duration if you see it's only 24 seconds which is ideally not really uh, uh, feasible for me uh, so these are all uh, different uh, types in terms of tracking your uh, google analytics so and the next thing i will also be interested in source and medium right so uh, i would like to understand what is the source of traffic and what is the the medium so obviously my google organic uh, stands the first so this is typically my um, uh, like uh, my numbers and then i also see social uh, uh, i mean tabula referral so i have brought in about some 1200 visitors and then average it is uh, it is giving me in 1 minute and 17 seconds as a 
session so uh, i also have a few more which i uh, obviously try to run uh, 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 advertisement and then i try to bring in so this is roughly in terms of uh, ga so uh, why ga is 100% required is because when you are applying for tabula publisher or any other content discovery network like ref content or mgit uh, uh, they might uh, ask you a proof of your uh, traffic because uh, obviously when the site is new when it is uh, like one month old or two month old uh, like uh, tracking uh, outside of the system will be little difficult so they might ask you access to the google analytics or they will ask you some screenshots right so now in that aspect i mean you should be able to show some number to get it approved because uh, like if your site is 2 years old or 1 year old plus uh, it's easy but then uh, what we are trying to do is i mean get it as quick as possible in a month or so uh, or sometimes even in 15 days or so so in that case i mean we will have to definitely show numbers right so that's why google analytics is the key here uh, to show the numbers and um, like uh, also to get it approved so this is in terms of google analytics the second analytics we'll be talking about is uh, basically tabula uh, so in my case i mean uh, so if you are an advertiser it is going to only show campaigns pixels uh, these two uh, features but if you are also publisher approved then you might have performance and tabu uh, account settings for uh, ads.txt records so uh, what i do is i mean um, so basically uh, let's say now this is my last 7 days report in terms of i have got 10000 rupees as an ad revenue uh, roughly i mean uh, so these are all the different uh, 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 like th these are all the average on an average i earn about 1500 rupees a day uh, which is uh, roughly about some uh, uh, $20 a day uh, so this is what i make and then uh, like so here what we need to uh, kind of uh, see is i mean obviously uh, in terms of uh, <clears throat> site by site right so i have different sites running so obviously i see one of my uh, site timeout uh, which is really doing good in terms of so that had an earning for last 7 days of 2200 rupees so which means that in terms of uh, content so and also ctr this is really working out so uh, and the other thing is uh, like if you are tabula app approved uh, so what they do is they give you uh, all the codes and ads.txt record here so you, which you can uh, basically see here like for example i have one site and this is the ads.txt uh, record uh, which i will have to put it in my uh, wordpress and create a plugin for ads.txt manager and then i will have to place this uh, txt codes but the actual ad code will be directly mailed to you by uh, tabula they don't uh, show it here unlike uh, google uh, google adsense so uh, this is in terms of tabula publisher now let me talk about tabula advertiser so i go to campaign management so i see um, <clears throat> these are all the different type of uh, ads running so let's say now i click on spend and we have so last 7 days i see this one of the campaign i mean the spend has been 1600 rupees so what i do is i will just go and see which of the actual url which has given me more number of clicks and which has ideally spent more in terms of uh, uh, like so i see that i mean this is an health related content eight signs your cholesterol levels are too high right so this is one of my uh, uh, i'll just open the site also i see this has to be this one of my campaign or one of my content really working well uh, so if you see so <clears throat> this is one of my site it's the same theme that uh, news mag what we have uh, talked in the earlier videos so <clears throat> so i see the ads uh, coming up and uh, this is the tabula publisher code and this is the tabula ads so i see it to be uh, working really well so what i can do is as i notice that uh, basically this content has really worked for me what i can do is i can create another campaign for the same url but with a different title uh, so instead of just saying uh, eight signs uh, 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 cholesterol level or something i can play around with the title i can change the title i can try to drive in more traffic so i see this content has given me more number of about some 36000 uh, 
views so far right so this is basically uh, in terms of uh, tabula as an uh, advertiser <clears throat> right so uh, basically i mean if there is any doubt in uh, google analytics and uh, tabula backstage uh, as a publisher or as an advertiser if you guys have doubt i mean obviously you can reach out to the support uh, email id and we'll be happy to assist, assist you now uh, to in the last if uh, if i have to talk about my adsense right so this is my adsense dashboard i've just uh, refreshed it <laughs> so this has been my uh, earning on an average i uh, uh, i make about uh, 40 dollars a day uh, i mean through adsense and uh, uh, additional 20 dollars from tabula so i average make 20 dollars uh, so that's uh, equivalent to $60 a day and I spend about $10 a day. So which is 10 to $15 a day. I make uh, average profit of about some $40. So that's how I mean uh, I've been able to do. Um, and also uh, so here uh, uh, basically the main thing which uh, obviously I need to monitor is this uh, CPC, right? So if I take uh, last 28 days so I, if you see my cpc has been increased right so uh, obviously now we bring in a traffic by paying as an advertiser as 0.01 cents and i make 17 cents and that's how it is profitable right so uh, this is what something i look at uh, in terms of google adsense and now there are even more uh, tracking that is possible uh, where you will have to create an url channel to specifically understand which of your content has really worked. So I'll just show you. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, uh, like about some 81 uh, active URL which I'm tracking uh, to understand which is really working for me. Mm -hmm. Now let's say now this one of the custom URL, right? I go to reports. Mm -hmm. I choose, let's say, uh, all time. And I go to clicks. So it is, you will have to choose the option in ads and uh, uh, custom URL. Okay. Mm. URL channels. Right. So I'll just go back to view report. Mm -hmm. I have clicked on all time. So I go to clicks. So here, if you see, actually, uh, now this particular content, eight lucky uh, discoveries that people uh, that made people rich, right? So it has given me an average CPC of uh, six uh, cents. <clears throat> and now here, uh, like, so what I, t I tend to do is, I mean, uh, when it is an, uh, if it is not a health related or insurance related content, now what I do is uh, basically I add them in uh, uh, like uh, uh, URL channels and I try to understand, I mean, whether that is yielding me a better CPC or not. So now if let's say now, for example, I go to a different uh, URL channel, right? Uh, let me choose. Mm -hmm. Let's say now I view this, it's related to health content. <clears throat> Again, I choose all time. Uh, go to clicks. Now here, uh, if you see my CPC has been 13 cents, right? Now I know that, I mean, this type of uh, content uh, gives me a better CPC. Uh, so now basically, I mean, in terms of understanding which content is actually giving you more profits, more revenue, so this is one way uh, in terms of adding as an uh, <clears throat> URL, adding a, 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 a content and the URL in the channel. So all you need to do is click, just click new URL channel and then you just add the URL and then add URL channels and you'll be able to see the, the reports. <clears throat> so uh, this is in terms of uh, uh, Google AdSense. Uh, so earlier versus now, uh, Google has changed little bit their interface. Now earlier you will be able to, with there was no options of sites. 
you will be able to uh, get all your uh, sites as long as you add site and uh, get the code but now it it is a little different you will have to add a site uh, get the auto codes from google and then place it in your sites and google will take 3 days to monitor your site and then they approve it and then they show the option called ready mm-hmm. so ready to serve ads like for example this site is ready to show ads uh, uh, yeah and then the ads uh, start displaying <clears throat> so this is in terms of uh, google adsense so uh, roughly that's it uh, from my side in terms of uh, uh, analytics uh, what to do so we will be talking about uh, scaling up your earning and uh, what uh, uh, as a publisher to consider uh, like few other additional parameters in uh, a different training which uh, which i will be covering in a different uh, section so that's it from my side uh, so good luck guys i mean uh, this is an real active uh, model which has been still working for me and uh, all you need to have is patience and uh, write a real good content and then get it approved uh, it's it's not like an uh, uh, model where you put in money and you start making in uh, uh, make money uh, like just like that right so here it requires a real uh, decent uh, terms of research Uh, and then analysis and then to understand what type of content works get it uh, approved as a publisher and then it, it, it's like an a uh, long time online real estate right? so you make one website which is a uh, long term and then make make it uh, workable and it, it it's like an autopilot it keeps working for you and it yields you uh, better results so yeah that's it from my side and thanks a lot guys see you very soon